You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Helping Hurting People, Part 4. In helping people who are hurting, there's a number of realisations, I call them, that the helper must grasp and understand. Firstly, that we are not rescuers of people. A rescuer can tend towards trying to make the problem go away. And it may well be, in perhaps the majority of situations, where the problem won't go away. So our help of the person is to assist them to cope with what's going on in their current situation. The idea is to help that person towards strength, to cope with what's going on in their lives, and as we've said before, to refer people to appropriate counselling or professionals that can help them. Marriage counselling, financial budgeters, mental health professionals, addiction recovery, anger management. The second realisation is this, that a person invariably will not progress further in their situation until they deal with destructive habits in their lives. In biblical terms we're talking about walking continually in darkness. A wee bit like the person who struggles with alcohol in a big way, refusing to give up their job as a barman or a barmaid. A person who has a pornography addiction, refusing to put measures into place to assist them out of that. So what do I mean by destructive behaviours? There's a great illustration that I want to give you that underlines what we're talking about. I have read that there are certain kinds of ants that have a passion for the sweet glandular substance given off by the caterpillar of a large blue butterfly. They can become so addicted to it that they even seek out the supplier and carry him to their nest with delight. But they unwittingly bring home an enemy in disguise, for the caterpillar gorges himself exclusively on ant larva. And usually such a threat to the colony would be repelled with great vigour, but the adults enjoy the tasty secretions of their guests so much that they are oblivious to the fact that their young are being devoured in the process. And so addictions can become so powerful that they not only do harm to a person's life, but greatly affect their future. There is the realisation that a person's issues can also be helped by getting enough sleep, exercise, hydration, and a good diet. Finally, the realization that failure is not fatal. A person doesn't drown by falling into the water. They drown by staying there. What I'm saying is that an admission of weakness or vulnerability is not failure. Paul wrote to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 12, 10. It says, So I'm not defeated by my weakness, but delighted. For when I feel my weakness and endure mistreatment, when I'm surrounded with troubles on every side and face persecution because of my love for Christ, I am made yet stronger. For my weakness becomes a portal to God's power amazing. And so as people who are helpers of hurting people, we are conduits of God's grace to them. And we are supportive and loving and listening and even providers of strength to that person. It's amazing how much a person can change when they can trust you enough to unload everything that's burdening them. God bless you today. 